What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So Microsoft has added Xbox Cloud Gaming to the Windows 10 PC app and they've also added the console remote play. And this is for insiders only at the moment. So if you're not already an insider um, or even if you are through the console, you may still need to come in and get into the program on PC, but it's pretty instantaneous. Download your Insiders Hub uh, app here. For me, it's going to already say that I own it because I've set this up earlier today on a different PC to make sure everything was working before I recorded it. But you want to download your Xbox Insider Hub. It's very similar to what you might experience on Xbox if you're on the Insider program over there. You're going to launch your hub, and then once you get into here, you're going to then have the option to opt in to um, a Windows Gaming uh, Xbox app external preview. So you'll go down here to where it uh, says preview and you'll see mine over there where it says Windows Gaming where it's uh, joined because I've already joined up a little bit earlier today. For you, if you haven't, it would be over here in available and you would click on that. So let's go ahead and click on Windows Gaming. And now you'll see here I have manage. So I'll be able to click there. For you, it would be join or learn more uh, when you go into there, but it should be join and then you'll be able to um, get right into the Windows Gaming app program here. And it's very simple. And once I did this, it only took about a minute. And then the cloud gaming showed up for me in my Xbox app. So let's go over here and open up the Xbox app. And you'll see at first cloud gaming is not going to show up. And then it's going to register that I have signed up for the insider program. And it'll pop up right here. Now, there's also an app update today um, for the Xbox PC app. And if you don't update... Um, it tends to not work properly or open the games. So definitely make sure you've upgraded to the newest version here today. And you'll see my, um, my update. I'll just speed through it there so we don't waste your time. But make sure you get that update done before you go in and try to launch any games. So then other than that, the app looks very similar to what it usually does, except they're now pushing the 100 plus console games in the cloud, which is a great way to give the games a try on PC if you want to before downloading them on your console or your PC. And you'll see here when we go into UIs, pretty similar to what's on the Edge browser, except maybe a little cleaner. Um, it does seem a lot smoother for me as I like scroll through games or when I'm getting in and out of games. Another thing that I really like that you'll see is that it goes actual full screen where like the uh, icons in the top left will disappear. Your mouse uh, cursor will disappear as to where in the browser those things don't... Uh, those things don't go away. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue scrolling all the way down through here. You can see these are all the games right now with many, many more coming just this year to Xbox Cloud. Now, the first thing we'll do, we're also going to look at remote streaming consoles just really, really quickly toward the end of the video. But first thing we'll do is just jump into the Ascent and then Battlefield. Uh, I have videos up on the channel of these being played in the cloud already. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend much time here, but I want to go ahead and at least jump in and show you, and I'll speed past some of this as well. No issues with loading in, just as fast as the browser, typically 5 to 15 seconds, um, depending when you're uh, coming in on the new Series X blades. But again, just like browser, very good experience for me on xCloud. Uh, latency felt great, uh, hardly any. It doesn't feel too spongy or anything at all here. And um, yeah, everything loaded in great. Like I said, those icons now disappear, your mouse cursor disappears, and it works like a true app should for that and i really prefer the dedicated apps you know and when it comes to geforce now and, and luna and now with xcloud and stuff i really just prefer the build the the apps purposely built for for them and they do tend to work better for me and they tend to have more features and options um especially down the road i know on gfn there's a lot more you can do when you're on the app so yeah everything was working really good here let's just jump over uh into Battlefield. So I'll go in here, I'll click to jump back in. I'll skip the loading for you again here. But like I said, it's very consistent, five to 15 seconds depending, um, and you'll launch into the game. So I just jumped into a multiplayer match really quickly. Again, I have gameplay videos up already for these two games, so I didn't want to really get into it, but I just wanted to see what they felt like on the app. Because I'm really used to xCloud on the browser. I played a lot there. And it was at least as good, if not better. Um, a lot of the times the stream was even cleaner. Uh, it depends on the game, honestly. Um, but latency-wise and everything, right on point with the browser. If not, even better at some points. So I can definitely see where they're headed here. That all-in-one app on PC is great, right? You're going to be able to have your PC games, uh, access to what's on console, your cloud. It's all going to be an all-in-one app. 
And I like the direction that they're headed here with that. So, but yeah, just running around a little bit in Battlefield here. Again, it feels really good. It looks really nice. No issues with the latency and very happy with where xCloud's headed and really happy to see the cloud coming to the PC app and also remote console streaming. I've really been missing those, um, even though Edge Browser's been working well for the gaming. Oh, look, he tried to nick me. See if I can hit him from... He's way out there. Ah, uh, still nicked him. But yeah, good experience overall. Let's jump back over to the home screen here because what I want to do very quickly, I'm not going to do gameplay. I'll, I'll do a separate video for that later. But I do want to jump into the console streaming here. So I've got my Xbox One, my Series X, and my Series S all showing up here. Um, my Series X is actually not on standby right now. So I don't know why it's showing up, but uh, it's actually unhooked because I'm doing some um, Hellblade stuff. So I'll be doing working on that, but you can jump in here and stream any of your consoles. You've ha you have set up for game streaming or remote access and it works really, really well. <clears throat> I used it on Xbox one a lot back when we had the console companion app, but now this replaces that. And, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll do another video showing gameplay probably from all the consoles for you. But right now I just wanted to show the connection and that it works. Uh, it's been working really well for me. I did play some games earlier. I just didn't record it, and it was pretty good. Um, there were some bitrate issues or some dropouts here and there that they're going to have to smooth out a little bit, for the, but for the most part, it was good, and what I really like is being able to just jump on a console. Let's go with the Series S here since it's hooked up here. Being able to jump on one of these consoles, even if it's not to game, sometimes I do this just to clear out games from the library, start new downloads, um, just different things I'll do to kind of maintenance the consoles from the PC and access them all from one spot. I just think it's really nice to be able to access all the consoles from one PC, one app, and take a look at them all and set up your downloads and all that kind of stuff. So, But yeah, working really well, and I'll do a more dedicated video uh, to that down the road with streaming the consoles and what the gaming uh, feels like there. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it. Thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, leave me your comment, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.